Hello, and thanks for joining me for this demonstration of Viral Loop. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to walk through a few things. Number one, I'm going to explain to you exactly what a viral loop post is, uh, how to create one, and then just exactly how easy it is to get your first site set up and going. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to talk about uh, three different ways to monetize your website. After that, we're going to talk about how to get your members signed up to your site submitting their content. And finally, we'll go ahead and take a quick walkthrough of all the different um, settings and features that Viral Loop offers. So, to start off, let's talk about what exactly a Viral Loop post is. Okay, so I'm going to click over here to a site, a Viral Loop site that I have set up. Uh, and as you're going to see on my home page here, I have these different categories uh, as well as different viral posts in them. Okay, so what a viral post essentially is, is a list of other posts. So for instance, uh, this one here, I have essential things to pack in your survival kit. Uh, so I go ahead and click on that. Uh, what it's going to do is bring you to a page that will show off the author. Okay, uh, each author, by the way, has their own uh, page that will show off their uh, every post or every viral post that they've that they've submitted to your site as you can see that right here okay and obviously share it out as well now looking at this list uh, you can see the share buttons are everywhere I mean that's the key thing right is we want to get this stuff going viral so you can share out this entire list so basically whatever URL I'm looking at right now if I share this out it's gonna share this entire list so when someone visits they're gonna see all these different posts and all this different content I'm offering them now we can uh, obviously go ahead and click into one of the uh, the individual posts as well and of course share just the individual one as well okay so that's it in a nutshell is what a viral post is okay it's a little bit different uh, way to organize your content okay so what we can do now is uh, before we get into how you create one of these I want to actually show you just how simple it is to uh, get your first site set up and ready to go okay what I'm gonna do is just hop over here to a fresh install that I have right here okay so we're looking at the pretty much the first thing you're gonna wanna do um, or one of the first things you're gonna wanna do uh, when you when you install the theme okay um, so you'll see we have 10 different pre-built designs here for you already and we are and we also have uh, many different ways that you can customize these things but if you just wanna get started get a design get a layout in there uh, you can select from any of these and this is how simple it is we just simply I'll just pick one here at random click on it activate it go through the dialogue here it'll tell you that it's all ready to go and what we'll do is we'll jump over and refresh this page and you'll see all the new styles are applied to this particular theme now let's uh, after a while if I've been adding content uh, it's no problem you can switch out or customize the look and feel of your site at any time so I can basically let's pick this arts and creativity one we'll go ahead and activate it and we're good to go and as you can see, I'm going to refresh here. Brand new layout. This is a full width layout. Uh, brand new color schemes. Uh, everything has been customized to that particular theme. So it's very, very simple to at least get a, a really nice starting starting point with with uh, with a nice look and feel. And then later, uh, as you get more comfortable, you can go in and uh, do some theme customizations. Okay, let's jump over to my other site here uh, that has some content in it, and we'll just kind of review a few of these theme customizations that you can do. Okay. Um, so basically, you're going to have uh, a layout, okay? So you can make, have it a full, uh, full screen, full width, left sidebar or right sidebar, okay? Right now we have our set to uh, the left, as you'll see here. And to change all that around, just simply select the right, save all the changes, refresh your site, and you'll see that the now we have the right um, uh, the right side layout uh, enabled. Now the really nice thing about it is everything is widgetized. Okay, so you can basically set up your left and your right uh, sidebars with whatever type of widget you want. Okay, now we've included quite a few that are custom to uh, Viral Loop, which I'll show you here real quick. Um, oh, let's go to widgets. Okay. Uh, so you're going to see I have a left sidebar, a right sidebar, my login area, 
and I can also do the footer left, center, and right. So you have all these different areas. You can drag any of these uh, custom made or uh, the ones that come standard with WordPress widgets into your sidebars, okay? So you'll see all of ours are labeled with viral loop, okay? So we have our ads, uh, the latest list that were there. We can do random lists, your social, um, your social network. Um, really anything here, you can go ahead and customize however you want these sidebars to look. Now by default, we have some already installed that, that uh, come as soon as you, you uh, install your theme, um, so which you're more than welcome to leave or come on in and go ahead and make those changes. Let's take a look uh, some more at some of the other settings that we can have here and I'll just quickly go through them. Um, obviously your logo, you can upload your own uh, logo there. The slider, whether you want to display this particular slider or not and you can also set which category you would like to have uh, show up in that uh, in that particular slider, okay? So you'll notice that there's a few different ones on here and they can slide through depending on which category I've assigned to the slider. Uh, so the next thing we have is some homepage categories. This is what's going to decide what categories are showing up on your homepage. Very simple to use. You can also change your category label colors, your titles. Uh, we also include a pre-header. Uh, the pre-header is located right up here and you can turn this on or off. Uh, you could call this trending, you can update this text to whatever you'd like and it's basically going to show you that first, um, the very freshest uh, post that you've made, okay? So it gets it right up there at top uh, for them to click on. Uh, as well as it will display your uh, follow me and, and social icons as well. Uh, now next we have header and footer which you can customize colors for, uh, backgrounds you can upload your own, you can use any of our uh, pre-stocked uh, pre uh, designs, uh, you can control the overlay size, the opacity, you can upload your own, for instance this is the one we're using, we can stretch that image and repeat that image. Fonts, you can control all your fonts, you can have uh, different body fonts, different header fonts. Um, now your single post is how you want your single post views to look. Do you want to enable the left sidebar, the right sidebar, or both, okay? So right now I have the left sidebar. So if I were to go uh, to an actual single post, uh, let's see here you're gonna see that's what I have uh, enabled in my settings, okay? So that's how it'll show up. So you can customize the, the inner pages as well as the home page how you want them to look very, very simply, just simply clicking any of these, these customization options, okay? Now for your social sharing, uh, which we know is very, very important, we've got a, a lot of different uh, areas that you can display this in, okay? And you can uh, enable or disable these uh, as, as you feel necessary, okay? So we basically give you uh, these kind of four different areas to display them. Right now I'm looking at a single post for uh, their survival in a can review and I've decided I wanted to show my uh, my sharing links uh, on top okay of the post well you could also enable it at the bottom of, of the post actually it's this one here okay so you can do whichever ones uh, whatever you feel fits you best now we also do it on the viral post page which is really kind of that list page right so let's go ahead and click on uh, actually we'll go back here and we'll go to one of these lists just to show you where that shows up and it's right here, okay? So there's your, uh, this these share uh, share buttons will share out this entire, this URL, so it'll be this entire uh, list of posts, all right? So very, very simple, very easy to set up. A couple of different social icon sets you can choose from. You can also enable the follow me, okay? If you want people to follow you on these specific networks, uh, you can also set that up and have that happen, okay? Now, where you can see that, I think I have one set on the home page. I sure do, right here, follow me. So I can have these on there, or I can enable them, disable them, do whatever I'd like, and I can also put them on whichever widgets I, I want, on whichever sidebars I want to, um, by customizing your widget setup as I showed you here. Okay, so you have really complete control of how you want this to look. Um, but right off the bat, you just simply pick one of those pre-built themes, and you're good to go. There's really not much else to do. Okay, now I would like to show you uh, the different ways to monetize this site, right? Because we all want to make money on our sites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start out with the advertising area, okay? So we're going to do some advertising banners. Now, we have three different placements for these banners. Um, there's the leaderboard up here. Um, there's the second leaderboard as well, which will insert right below your posts, okay? So we can actually turn that on. Let's take a look here. Let's add one. It's very simple to do. Add a title, just call it Viral Loop Demo. This is just for your purposes. And you can go ahead and add that image in here, okay? So let's see. Well, let's just go ahead and put the same one in here just to show you how that works. You just insert it into the post and simply link it to whichever, uh, wherever you'd like, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna push it to this particular website here. And we're gonna save it, okay? Now we always wanna make sure we save our changes and we'll go ahead and refresh the page. 
Okay, and you're going to see it appears here. Okay, so we have it appearing there, we have it here, and we also have a sidebar advertisement, which will show up right here. Now, what you can do uh, with with the banners is you can have as many of them as you'd like. Okay, so for instance, we have I believe it's the 250. Yeah, we have two of them here, right here. So it, they will rotate. Okay, I think it's on a five second um, rotation. So you can have as many as you'd like with uh, going to their own individual links um, uh, on either side of the uh, of the. the sidebars for this particular one and then of course your leaderboard banners will show up where I've shown you um, uh, on the home page as well as the inner pages okay so that's one way to monetize the site now the second way is through Amazon okay so we have basically hooked this up for your Amazon uh, to your Amazon affiliate account all right so we're just gonna simply enter in those details here uh, which we have bite size training throughout the entire theme to show you exactly how you set things up and how each of these settings work okay so I've already got mine set up in here so I'm going to show you um, a viral post that I've done for products okay as well as what are called native ads okay so now native ads let's go ahead and take a look at this page here this is uh, Amazon's native uh, native uh, advertising okay so what it'll basically do is based on your content that you have on your site it will display um, it will display products that are uh, relevant to that particular content all right all you do is copy and paste a piece of code in and let Amazon do the rest all right so let's take a look at actually one of these viral posts here for products so as you'll see uh, this is coming straight from Amazon. This is uh, Hunting Essentials, I have it labeled as. Uh, so you can go ahead and you can check out from here. Now, if anybody checks out and purchases, you're going to get that commission. Okay. You can also add to the wish list from here as well. So you can click on any of these to go to the individual one uh, if, if, they, if you'd like. Add it to the wish list. Buy now. It's going to go straight into your affiliate account and you can start making money. Now, you'll see some of the uh, relevant ads that have been placed here um, through the native ads as well. So, this will be present in all of your posts. So, you're constantly putting these in front of your visitors' faces for you to make those commissions. Okay. Okay. Now, the third way to monetize this site ties right in with how we create our viral posts. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. So I'm going to head back uh, over here to the viral post creator. Okay. Now you have uh, five different choices here. You can do um, image uh, posts, video posts, audio, member submissions, or products. Okay. Now, as I've said, you can have your uh, members submit posts or submit content, any of these content types, uh, to your website. Okay. And what this this uh, particular media type allows you to do is create lists based off of anything submitted from your members or from your own posts. If this is a site, if you're installing the theme into a um, an already pre-populated site where you have many, many posts, you can now take those posts, create viral uh, lists out of them and start sharing those out, okay? So you can actually, um, you can use uh, the, you know, the posts that you already have. You don't have to keep creating new, new, new content um, using this creator, okay? So let's take a look at, let's just do a video one, all right? Now all of the media types will take you through the same little, uh, little wizard steps, okay? It's very simple to do. Uh, so since mine is about survival, I'm just going to just simply type in survival, oops, spell it right here, survival, and we'll do a search. Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to go out and it's going to find anything based on survival. Now I can get as specific as I want depending on what I want to come back. Okay, so it's going to give me a whole bunch of different choices here to choose from. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose, oh, let's do... Uh, sort of wilderness week one so that one and this one okay so we have three posts that I'm going to um, add to this list okay so I'm gonna hit next now at this point what's gonna happen is you are uh, allowed to go ahead and edit the th uh, the titles uh, the descriptions anything you want okay so now here's where you can then start to promote your own products okay so you can drop your link right in here or an affiliate link if you're doing affiliate marketing to any of these here so if we just uh, say, you know, buy now. Uh, and I'm just going to put a raw link on here at domain.com. And uh, whatever that uh, affiliate link or the link to your offer is, uh, we simply go ahead and put those in each of these in each of these posts. Okay. All right. Drop that there. And then we'll go ahead. Now we have a WYSIWYG here, so you can actually do the linking um, and make it uh, pretty up this um, the way the description looks, or or whatever you want to do. You can edit it anything that you want to on this particular page. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit next here, 
and we're gonna choose which category we would like this to post to, okay? Um, so I believe, let's see, we'll get it to show up on the front page. Let's uh, take a look and see which categories. Okay, safety. Let's go ahead and post to safety, and we'll be able to see how that shows up on the home page. Hit next. Uh, you can now tag it, um, and you can put as many tags as you want to in here. Um, so I'm just going to use the survival. It'll give us, it'll give you some tips as well um, uh, that you can use for tagging. So I move on to here. Now I'm going to put uh, pick a catchy name for the actual viral post. Okay, so this is you know we'll just call it um, you know safety in the wild. Okay, and we'll go ahead and submit. Okay, so once it's submitted, you can now actually share these out if you want to right from here. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the site here and see if we can find that uh, that post all right and there we go okay so safety in the wild now we can go ahead and click on that you're gonna see that it's, it's brought up the three that I've uh, I've put in here you can also see my uh, my URL here that I've added okay now obviously you'd want to link that URL um, but you'll see the description here as well as as my uh, my link to my offer or to an affiliate offer, really whatever you want to do, okay? So now, as I said, you can do different things. You can do images, um, you know, audio, if, if you uh, so choose, and you can also do product, okay? Now, product is how we're gonna create, um, uh, uh, create these viral posts from Amazon, okay? So if I just type in hunting and hit go, it's gonna go out to Amazon, it's gonna find hunting related items, right? So we can go ahead and choose whichever ones we want, save that, tag it, and you, and it's gonna instantly show up on the uh, front of our of our website, okay? So as you see, it's very simple to monetize this, this type of website, okay? So let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the other settings and features in uh, Viral Loop, okay? So we have some member settings here. We can enable member uh, membership signups or disable them. We can enable or disable comments if we don't, uh, don't want them, we can disable them. You can require an email confirmation. So when somebody signs up, um, they're gonna get that email conf confirmation coming back uh, that they'll have to, to click to basically confirm their account. Um, we can add external messages uh, to the website uh, or internal messages to the website as well, okay? So now this is shown to visitors who are not logged in. This one is shown to visitors who are your members, who are logged in, okay? And I think, um, let's see here, let's actually go, I don't think I have that widget set up, but we can go ahead and do that very, very quickly. Uh, so we'll have the member, I believe I have it on the right, and we'll just say, just so you can see it, member message, and we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, so here's the member message that I have. Welcome back to the Tactical Survivor Team. Share your survival tips and outdoor stories, uh, and so forth. So, whichever I, whatever I have in this in these fields, those are going to go ahead and show up on the site. Okay. Um, now you can also hook up your autoresponders to this uh, as well. Okay. So we can have Aweber, Mailchimp, Get Response, Constant Contact, and also raw HTML. So if one of these you're not using, you can use the raw HTML feature as well um, to go ahead and hook up your autoresponder, where you can then go ahead and send them through any kind of email sequence that. You, that you would like, okay? All right, so the final feature I wanna show you is our topics feature. Now what topics are, are a way for you to engage with any member who's signed up to your site um, and get them to submit content based on some on a topic that you present okay so I'm just gonna flip over here to the front side and just show you now we have a topics widget okay that you can drag in and place wherever you'd like uh, and you can also decide how many topics to display and what they'll do is they'll show up here okay so we want to prompt them with um, you know tell us your best survival plan soil or hydro whatever this may be if they're logged in and they are a member and they click this they'll be taken to a member submissions area which I'll show you in just a second uh, so the first thing I wanted to do is actually just show you how simple it is to manage these topics. Uh, you'll see I have a few here. Uh, you can uh, make them inactive uh, if you choose. Uh, so you can post one for a few weeks and uh, if you're done collecting posts, uh, you can simply edit it and then go ahead and just deactivate it and it will not show up on the front side. Or you can add more topics here, okay? Now what we're also gonna show you is how many uh, number of posts have been submitted to each of these topics by your members. Okay, so let's go here to the front side, and I'm, I'm logged in as a member, as you can see here. Now, I can either uh, click on an individual topic here to get to the member submission area, or submit posts, and that will also take me there. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Tell Us About Your Best Survival Plan. So if I'm a member, and I want to go ahead and uh, submit to this particular topic, 
what I can do is I can choose from any of these four media types, all right? So I could submit images, audio, uh, a video, or text. Now the text would be just a straight up um, a blog post, right? So if they want to tell you a story of some time, if, if that's what you're prompting them to do, they can use that particular media type. For this example, I'm just going to use uh, video, okay? So uh, I found a video just on YouTube here that we can just use as, as an example. And I'll go ahead and copy that. Um, so this is uh, primitive technology. Okay, so let's just say that that's what the user would would title this. Primitive tech. Okay, they're going to paste in their link, and then they can go ahead and post a description and talk about what the video is about. For now, I'll just use the description that they have here. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, and go ahead and paste that in, okay? And they can also tag these uh, as well. So we can say primitive tech and maybe survival, okay? Now these tags will show up on uh, the post itself, okay? So I'm going to show you here next is how you as an admin can now um, kind of curate this content and get it onto your site. Okay, so after they've submitted, um, you, they'll be able to, they'll be prompted to submit more of the same topic, choose a new one. They can even suggest topics or just be done and return back to the home page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is jump back into the admin area now and show you how you uh, post these to one of your viral lists. Okay, so if I go to the post creator, I'm going to use this here, this member submissions. Now, Member submissions allows you to create these viral posts uh, with any existing post that you have uh, in in your WordPress instance, okay? Or if I drip this drop down, you're gonna see you're gonna see the three topics that I have active right here, and you'll see a little number next to it. With it's just gonna show you how many uh, posts are in that particular topic, okay? So if I just click on the one that I just submitted to, you're gonna see I had a few up here. And there's my new one. Okay, so now what I can do is, let's see, I'll select all three of these and create a post for it. Hit next. <clears throat> now you can go ahead and edit any of the descriptions, drop in links, drop in whatever you want to, want to do here um, as well. Hit next. We're gonna select the category to post it in. Um, and I think we'll put this in, uh, let's just go, oh, let's just put it in video just for something generic right now. And next, and it's going to give you some suggestions for tagging, so we can go ahead and do that. Hit next. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and name this, okay? So this is going to be the name, the title of the actual post. And for now, I'm just going to call it um, Survival Tech Tips, something like that, okay? And we're going to submit it. All right, great. So it's all now submitted. We'll go ahead and search this, make sure I have videos uh, is one of the categories that I have uh, on my home page, um, which it's not. So we can then easily change that and go to our settings, our design, and we're going to go to the home page categories. There's video. I want to add that so that now shows up on the front page as one of the categories. Go ahead and refresh quick. And you're going to see videos has loaded down here okay and there's my there is the post that I posted so now you've used and curated basically all content being submitted from your users and they're just building that content and your site is getting bigger and bigger um, and having more and more content on it that's just how simple it is to start um, you know getting your members involved and interacting with them okay now one last thing I do want to show you is that any member actually has their own profile page. Now, I, I'm the one who submitted this, so I have admin um, is my, my username. Um, but each of them has their own profile, okay? So if anybody ever clicked on this, and they can be, be shared as well, it will basically display any bio information, their website, uh, they can put those links. But it's gonna show all the posts that admin has submitted, okay? So you can then share out this profile page as well, and so can your members, all right? So it's just another way to get your sites out there um, and get them viral. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this demonstration. As you can see, there's a lot of powerful features uh, in Viral Loop. Um, so go ahead and grab your copy today.